Just like the uh, strategic plan uh, is a living and evolving document, so what I'm about to present here is the current status of, uh, of the plan, but as the uh, strategic plan evolves, so will the, will the uh, uh, academic plan. It is obviously uh, guided by the university strategic plan, and its objective is to deliver the academic part of the uh, university strategic plan. Okay, here it is. Um, I thought I will, I will, <coughs> I will present you uh, a few things uh, uh, that will that will constitute my talk. First, I think it's 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 uh, helpful to see the uh, what kind of academic mission we based our plan on, and talk to you about a little bit about the uh, strengths. Uh, of, of our current strengths and what it is that we would like to achieve. Just give you again a list of new endeavors and how the new endeavors uh, will, will guide the uh, uh, faculty and uh, other academic initiatives. Talk about uh, some common elements of faculty initiatives and then the engagement and success part of the plan that will involve student, faculty, and curriculum and talk a bit about resources. Um, we basically, uh, the mission, if I could summarize it in one short sentence, is, is the creation and evolution of an outstanding uh, academic environment uh, that, will, that will promote excellence and innovation for our students, faculty, and staff. And it will have to connect the resources and academic priorities uh, for sustainability. If you look at our, one of the uh, distinguishing elements of our uh, academic strengths is our commitment uh, to, to ensure that we are, we, are, we are providing intellectual, cultural, and social situation that, that will allow our students to develop as individuals and as scholars as they go through their studies at Carleton University. Uh, this direction commits us, the university, to ensure that we are investing our resources and en energy to enhance our student experience. That is one of the uh, most clear directions that uh, 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 we, we receive and we, we make commitments. Um, and we also, we are ensuring that the education we're providing both at the undergraduate and graduate level is of highest quality. And uh, of course, to be able to do these, we need to uh, recruit and retain students, and we also need to recruit and retain excellent faculty and staff in order to accomplish our mission. However, this direction also requires that uh, our faculty and staff and administration, we are fully engaged with our students and we are committed to their outcomes. Uh, our academic programs, uh, just like uh, many academic programs at any university, however, we are, our programs are distinguished and we offer some unique advantages and uh, elements that the other programs may not have. And also, we are committed, we are, we are directed to establish, maintain, and enhance a research capacity that will engage students and uh, faculty at, at all levels. And we need to provide services to our students in order to uh, foster their success. As the president uh, mentioned briefly, the uh, four uh, new endeavors, it's the environment and sustainability, health, digital media, and global identities and globalization. These are basically the uh, four areas that uh, guided uh, faculty plans as, as well as the uh, uh, other parts of the academic plan. So for each one of these endeavors, uh, we are, we have, and we are the process of establishing a task for to explore the ways to, to, to move forward. We're gonna look into the expansion, consolidation of scholarly works, academic programs, and also community engagement for each one of these endeavors. And then the faculty deans were tasks, 
task to develop uh, their own faculty uh, uh, strategic plans, including faculty of graduate studies and research and the uh, library. So they each have a strategic plan and um, I was very pleased to see that when, when we reviewed these plans, uh, there were nine, at least nine very visible common elements uh, of these plans. Uh, the, the first and foremost was to promote student engagement and success. In each one of the uh, faculty plans, including the libraries, you will see that uh, they are committed to uh, student engagement and success, increase the uh, number of students at all levels through a managed strategy of resource allocation. Uh, they were very clear in expressing their, uh, their commitment to give students more opportunities to learn outside the classroom. Experiential learning is something that, that comes out in each and every faculty plan that gives different avenues for our students uh, to, to enhance and complement their learnings outside the classroom, just like co-op or uh, study abroad uh, exchange programs, but each faculty plan clearly indicates that commitment. And of course, support faculty in the pursuit of professional development and excellence. Again, in, this is quite visible in faculty uh, plans. Improving scholarly uh, uh, activities and research productivity, again, is, is, uh, is, is seen in all faculty plans. Partnerships, international uh, activities, new programs, and also update and revitalize existing programs. Quickly, uh, some examples. These are, uh, I'm sure you can visit uh, individual uh, faculty websites and have a better uh, understanding of what they're about, but uh, my time uh, doesn't permit me to go through each one of these uh, 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 in detail. However, some uh, examples of some faculty uh, plans, for example, in the Faculty of Arts and Social Sciences, it's the fostering a sense of intellectual community centered on designated plan is one of the uh, core elements of their plan and also promoting international experience uh, as to for as many students as possible again is very clearly indicated in the uh, fast plan faculty of public affairs uh, they they make a commitment and this is this is a, again key strategic direction to be known far and wide for public, uh, uh, for policy studies, and uh, and this is this is uh, again uh, quite uh, uh, interesting to see that the uh, they they would like to make their policy studies accessible to all students across the university and not just the students in uh, FBA, and they are uh, talking to a number of other faculties uh, 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 to to make uh, policy studies available either in science or engineering or other areas of the uh, university. As the president mentioned, uh, globalization again is widely uh, uh, seen uh, or uh, it's, it's, it's the desire for globalization is seen across all faculties. Faculty of uh, Sprott School of Business uh, clearly indicated that uh, they, they would like to expand their international programs and globalization activities. Of course, they have one major task then, that is the accreditation uh, uh, part of, the, uh, uh, of their plan. Even though Ian uh, came and tried to bribe me to uh, announce that we will also uh, have a new building for them, uh, that's not coming out yet. Uh, Faculty of Engineering and Design, they have, uh, they have uh, plans uh, for a doctorate program in architecture and plans are underway together with the Faculty of Science to establish programs in nuclear engineering and nuclear science. The next one it says fusion, but it's not in the nuclear sense, even though it follows the nuclear engineering one. Again, bring engineering and business aspects uh, uh, together and for their uh, undergraduate and graduate offerings. And uh, Faculty of Science, again, uh, nuclear engineer, nuclear science uh, is one of their uh, uh, new program uh, uh, plans in nanoscience, biochemistry, environmental science. And also they are, they made a very clear 
the commitment for more opportunities uh, for their students to learn through discoveries. Library has the most longest uh, list of uh, uh, academic uh, uh, the, uh, specific goals. So I have only three of them here, but again, you can, you can visit the library website to see the others. Um, I will just mention the last one, uh, improved student experience in the, uh, in the library. This is again, uh, this has been an evolving uh, activity in the library. I was very pleased to see that this is, this is, this is, this improves every day. Nevertheless, they have uh, some serious plans and commitments to further improve student experience in the library. Okay, the next part of it, uh, what do we need to see these uh, uh, faculty plans and overall the uh, strategic plan in place? We summarize it in two words, uh, uh, engagement and success. Uh, we need engaged and successful students, engaged, well, engaged and successful faculty, and engaged and successful curriculum to complement those two. What are we uh, offering or what are we planning the, uh, on the student front? Uh, there's, a, there's an exhaustive, exhaustive list, but uh, just to give you a few, few examples, uh, we would like to ensure that first year course tutorials, uh, they will, we, will, we will provide them the best practices. Our past program, peer assisted study skills program, is already, we, we know that is quite successful, and this will, be, this will be expanded as widely as possible in order to offer our first year students much better uh, tutorial support. Uh, we would like to uh, initiate a campus-wide discussion on our grading practices and assessment uh, together with, uh, with our faculty uh, to see uh, whether our current practices are, uh, are, are in the best interest of our uh, uh, students and also whether they are the most uh, current ones. Um, again, I mentioned that experiential learning was, uh, was a common uh, uh, element of all faculty plans and again we would like to expand this possibility in terms of co-op or uh, internship offerings either internally or internationally. Um, counseling of our student and advising of our students is again a very very important uh, uh, area. We have been doing this very successfully nevertheless we have plans in order to consolidate all counseling and advising activities in order to maximize uh, uh, the, uh, the advice and benefits the students will receive from this activity and expand social and extracurricular opportunities on and off campus. One of the again uh, desires uh, is that we would like our students to spend more time on, on our on campus as opposed to arriving here, taking a course, and then going, uh, going off campus. Uh, the, there, there are studies showing very clearly that the more time students spend on campus, they are more engaged, therefore it does directly uh, affect their uh, success and also retention of these students. Uh, this was the student part of it. What about the uh, teaching assistants? Um, we have, we have seen significant improvement in, in the performance of our teaching assistants. We will continue offering them training and mentoring opportunities, uh, and also we will, we, will, we will make sure that they will have discipline-specific skills when they are performing their TA duties. Uh, evalu evaluation and re recognition of their tremendously important uh, work, and those t teaching assistants who uh, come here uh, uh, with, uh, with uh, certain deficiencies in communication, we would like to offer them more opportunities uh, to, to enhance those uh, uh, skills, especially in English. On the faculty side, um, we are offering, we have plans to offer a wide range of uh, uh, activities. Uh, they are all for the support of teaching excellence and uh, we, we have a new program for faculty development certificate, faculty mentoring program. Many of our new faculties, when they arrive, first arrive to Carleton, they go through uh, 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 a period where they are co constantly engaged in activities. 
when I speak to them afterwards, they are saying how wonderful it is and how helpful it is to go through that uh, initial period of uh, mentoring and uh, some workshops and seminars. Uh, we are in the process of establishing a faculty associates program. Again, this will enhance especially new faculty's uh, experience at Carleton, and we are bringing postdoctoral fellowship in university teaching. Continue on the faculty side. Uh, again, we will, as I mentioned, we will, we will work on the grading and assessment part with our faculty members, uh, and uh, we are also committed to provide uh, support, uh, comprehensive support to our contract instructors, sessionals, and term instructors, and the list goes on and on. I know uh, I'm getting to the end of my time allocation. And then um, we, 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 have, we are already in the process of conducting various studies on university teaching, and we would like to enhance this further. Uh, on the technology side, uh, we, although we are approaching to this, we are not there yet, so our commitment is to, to go to 100% fully equipped electronic classrooms. Uh, we know that it is quite important uh, for our faculty and students to have this ability uh, and also encourage and uh, enable, provide support for innovative teaching methods, again, through our um, technology uh, for if, through EDC. Uh, curriculum, of course, is also an important element. I must, I must say that the student part, they are, they are under the Office of Associate Vice President Student Support Services, Suzanne Blanchard, and they have a full mandate to, to, to provide those uh, supports. And the uh, faculty development, they are under uh, Carol Miles' office and the curriculum development and revisions there under Assistant Vice President Brian Mortimer's uh, uh, mandate. And uh, we are, we would like to ensure that we, we, we will support for design and revision of programs and courses. We have already uh, two major uh, uh, initiatives to go. One is for the, uh, this is provinci provincially mandated, the way to, to do it for graduate programs and to implement that review protocol for graduate students and also complete the uh, learning objective program uh, uh, project for all undergraduate uh, programs. Uh, we are uh, already, we have designated a number of courses for curriculum review and science and you're seeing some of the examples, biology, chemistry, computer science, earth sciences. And we are, we have also agreed to review and improve first year engineering programs. <coughs> Resources, extremely of course important to be able to uh, uh, achieve our objectives set out in this plan. Effective, efficient, and sustainable use of academic resources uh, is important. Uh, we, the most important part is of course we need, the, we need uh, the strategic enrollment management, both for graduate and undergraduate programs, uh, recruitment is, uh, uh, is, is, is quite important, and we need to ensure that we have uh, measures in place, all those uh, activities I listed, that will, that will uh, retain our students here as, as it makes them uh, to achieve uh, a more successful status in their, in their studies. Um, we are looking at uh, uh, capacity studies, both for undergraduate and graduate programs, to see how much we can we can we can expand our enrollment in those programs. Uh, we will look at some uh, course offerings that are that are uh, that, that that could be uh, uh, maximized and uh, make them more efficient offerings. If if it's possible to consolidate some of the courses, we will we will we will look into the possibility of doing those. Conclusion, again, I go back to my initial slide that our, uh, we hope that this will further uh, improve our position in the creation of an outstanding uh, intel intel intellectual environment both for, uh, for our faculty, staff, and students. Thank you.